What is up, guys? Thank you so much for checking out another one of my videos. Make sure you like this video, you subscribe, and very, very important, you hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. So with everything going on now, I want to give everybody a little bit of advice from experience. When I started stacking in 2012, I had basically got in at a really bad time. Pretty much the back end of the economy kind of recovering from 2008 and the back end of silver and gold prices being through the roof. Now, the difference is back in 2012, like I said, it was the back end of it. So silver and gold were on the way down. Now, what's going on, even though gold and silver are expensive and the premiums are high, it's more of the front end of what's going on. But there's a lot of similarities and there's a lot of things that I learned during that time from mistakes. And I basically want to give you guys some advice to not make those same mistakes. Because of all the premiums that are through the roof, people are pretty much taking advantage of the shortages in gold and silver and the premiums are high. There's a lot of demand. The supply is not there. The mines are closed. The mints are closed. There's a lot of different things that were not happening in 2012. But what I learned, and I've learned this a couple times actually over the course of the last eight years of stacking, there's certain things that are always in demand that people are going to want to buy and they will pay the extra money for. Right now is not the time to really be buying those semi-numismatic coins. And the reason being is that they already carry a premium. Now those premiums are even higher. And what I noticed in 2012 is a lot of the sellers on eBay and at this time, that was the only access I had to the secondary market. That was basically what I was judging my purchases on and seeing what was selling, what wasn't selling, what were the hot items, what were the cold items. And I noticed that a lot of the sellers were relisting a lot of those semi-numismatic coins, like the Year of the Dragon, that Lunar Series, that was the 2012 Lunar Series was the Year of the Dragon that thing was not selling. People were not buying them, even though it was 2012 and it was brand new. The things that people were buying very much like today were the Eagles, the Maples, and a lot of heavy bars, like these 10 ounce bars. These were also available. They were extremely expensive. I, I was not in the position to be buying um, silver in bulk like this, especially with those high prices. So what I did is I ended up buying a bunch of silver and almost <laughs> immediately silver and gold started coming down real quick. So I had to resell and I took a little bit of a loss until gold and silver leveled. So now what do you do? We have all these premiums. You want to get silver, but you can't. You don't know where to go to get it. You have these dealers um, still with these massive uh, order thresholds in order to get free shipping. Now we have tax in certain states. That wasn't around in 2012 either. So how do you navigate? How do you buy? What do you do? The best advice I could possibly give you guys is to be patient and do a lot of searching. I know a lot of you guys are at home quarantined. Spend some time looking around and trying to get a good deal. Don't rush into any purchases right now. Um, I had mentioned that the Silver Eagles, the 2020 Silver Eagles, were not a good buy. They are, they just like all silver right now, they have a heavy premium. But if you want something that is reliable, then maybe take a stab at some Eagles. But I highly recommend buying bigger pieces of silver. Buying in bulk will save you a lot of money. So if you buy those 10 ounce bars, you are essentially saving money since it is in bulk. If you're buying one Eagle a week, you're going to end up spending a lot more money over time. Now, I think silver, we're on the front end of the demand, the supply and demand. I think silver has some ways to go. I think gold has some ways to go still. I think they're both going to go up uh, considering everything that's going on and that the economy is probably going to take a massive hit due to what we got going on. So 
Basically, the best thing to do, get on Instagram. You could buy from some people on Instagram. You could buy from the reputable dealers. Just make sure you are stashing away um, a good enough amount of money in order to buy more than just one coin at a time. Maybe try and hit like a five coin uh, deal. You can find some of those on eBay. You'll notice that if you buy a single eagle from, I'm just giving an example, MCM, that it's about $25. But then if you go and buy five of them, they end up working out to be about $23. So look around for stuff like that and save up. Uh, it'll save you money in the long run, especially if you want to start buying a lot of silver and a lot of gold. But this should be a lesson. Anyone that is new, um, this is exactly why we do what we do. This is why we stack for a long time. This is why we do it ahead of time. And this is why we do it no matter the price of silver or gold. Just in case there are shortages, just in case there is a surge in prices, you already have a nice foundation. You have a nice stack already. So the whole purpose of stacking is to be prepared. But if you're new and you're getting into it now, the best advice I can give you is this, is just buy in bulk, take your time, make sure you know what you're buying and don't overbuy. Don't spend too much money. Fiat currency is gonna be very important over the next couple months uh, because of everything that's going on. So make sure you're balancing your fiat with your gold and your silver. So just keep searching for those deals. They're out there, trust me. There's gonna be dealers start putting up some deals uh, pretty soon in order to stimulate some buying because there, believe it or not, even though there is a supply and demand issue, there's still people that are not buying because of the premiums. And uh, keep in mind, gold and silver were lingering at a very low price for a while, a long time. So maybe instead of searching the 2020 Silver Eagles, you could start searching for the 2000 and 16 silver eagles when silver was cheaper because people bought those most likely in 2016 when silver was around 15 dollars an ounce and we lingered there for a while 15 16 17 dollars um at some point within those couple uh years the silver went down to 14 dollars so if you catch somebody that wants to make a little bit of profit they might sell it for who knows, maybe $19 an, uh, at an ounce or $20 at an ounce. And you could catch one of those private sellers just trying to make a little bit of cash and kind of undercut all the other people that are trying to sell at these high premiums. So you just gotta be patient. eBay is a good place, but you gotta be extremely careful. I have guides on how to make a decision whether you should buy on eBay from certain sellers. Obviously, you shouldn't be buying anything from China nothing make sure you sort um, your ebay list to show only us or north american sellers and just really pay attention if something is way too good to be true most likely it is then you got instagram if they have a lot of followers if you see that they've made a lot of different transactions then that could be a good buy also if you see a good price from somebody on instagram right now the private sellers are probably going to offer the best deals. These dealers are still kind of taking advantage of the, sub, the supply and demand issue that we're having and jacking up the premiums. So look around privately. There's people that are going to want fiat cash and are going to be desperate for some, some money and just want to offload some of the silver that they got and maybe take a little bit of profit back you know, a couple of years ago, like I was saying, when silver was 14 15 dollars an ounce for example i could if i wanted to right now i could sell a lot of my silver for 19 dollars, and i would be happy because i would make four dollars on top of uh what i purchased it for back in whatever 2016 17. so there's a lot of people like me that have been stacking for a while and have that advantage so make sure you're taking your time and uh, as far as gold, gold has got a real heavy premium and gold is expensive at the moment. I think gold is still going to go up. And a lot of these, um, these coins here, I mention this all the time. These coins right here, these um, world gold coins, these really old gold coins, the 20 francs, francs or francs, whatever you want to call them, 
Um, this is from 1876. These will qualify for eBay bucks. And Liberty Coin, who is a very established retailer, is one of the people... Actually, I buy almost all my gold from them. Uh, they qualify for eBay bucks. So that's an example right there. Lucky Angel, very recognizable, very popular. The Helvetia is another one. So any of those 20 francs or francs um, are really good buys if, they, if you could hit them with those eBay bucks. But what I've noticed, we just went through a wave of... 5% eBay bucks, it was still not close to spot. It was still way above spot. So you gotta, you might have to wait till maybe 10% or 15% eBay bucks, which who knows if it's going to happen with everything going on. So that's a good option for gold. I would definitely hold off on gold unless you could get those eBay bucks. I also have a guide on that. If you want to know how to register for eBay bucks, I have a guide on that as well. Just uh, look through my guides playlist. So anyways, be patient. Gold and silver are going to go up, but at the same time, you don't need to rush. Um, let's see what happens over the next couple months. I always, you know, I'm very conservative with the way I stack. And I think patience is definitely a very important thing um, as of right now with all the markets with basically two extremes. You get the low extreme, you get the high extreme. And you just want to make sure that you are taking your time, um, arming yourself with a, as much knowledge as possible. So see what stuff is going for and really determine if it's a good deal or not. And if you feel comfortable, that's when you should buy. If you don't feel comfortable or you don't fully understand what you're buying, then I would definitely stay away from it. So that's my advice for everything that's going on. I hope this helps. Let me know what you guys are doing to kind of limit your losses or if you're just hanging out on the sidelines right now, not buying due to the premiums and any other advice you want to give to new stackers. We've got a lot of new stackers coming into the community right now because um, of the appeal of gold and silver with the economy that's going to be <laughs> battered for quite some time. We're going to have a little bit of hyperinflation. We're going to have some bailouts. It's it's. Gold and silver are looking really nice right now. So we're going to have a lot of new stackers. And I've been getting a surge in emails about stacking and advice. So I see that we're getting a lot. So make sure you put comments down there to help out. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. And I will talk to you guys later.